Britain has asked the EU to bring the Northern Ireland Protocol to a standstill so a raft of new measures which could threaten the supply of food and medicines to the province do not come into force. The export of chilled meats such as sausages from England, Scotland and Wales to Northern Ireland will be banned from October unless a new arrangement can be secured. There is also concern about the supply of medicines, with a British Pharmaceutical Trade Association warning that more than 2,000 medicines could be withdrawn if new regulations due to be introduced in January make it unviable to export to Northern Ireland. The UK request for a standstill would mean existing grace periods covering the import of products such as chilled meats and medicines would continue. Britain wants to renegotiate key aspects of the protocol, which was introduced to avoid the need for customs checks on the Irish border but is blamed for impeding trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The move will be seen as a compromise offer. The UK government has said there are clear grounds to justify overriding the protocol using Article 16 of its deal with the EU, but under the standstill proposal existing measures would remain in place while discussions continue. The offer has raised concerns in unionist circles, where there is anger at the impact the arrangements have already had on daily life. DUP MP Sammy Wilson said, I really don't understand what the point of the standstill would be. He fears that existing rules will become the status quo and people will have to continue to live with all the problems that are being faced at present. The East Antrim MP, who predicts the offer will go down badly in Conservative ranks, wants the UK to make it clear to the EU that unless it seriously engages in negotiations, we will take action ourselves to protect our internal market. However, former Brexit Minister David Jones saw the standstill proposal as a shrewd move. He said, the offer of a standstill is a prudent one, allowing for time to negotiate new, permanent arrangements to replace the current flawed protocol. The EU would do well to agree. The strict terms of the protocol undermine the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, which has guaranteed peace in Northern Ireland for over 20 years. Neither party can allow that to be damaged.